The crucial question is like, this is fine as long as there's not a downturn. It's fine as long as there's not a perfect storm actually hitting a lot of equities. Where do you see the biggest risk coming from? Uh, well, you know what? In terms of some of these uh, FANG-type stocks, not necessarily Apple so much, but some of the other ones, I see the risk as government regulation. Uh, I think that they're, you know, this is something that's going on in the background. Lots of talk about how to regulate some of these behemoths. And I think that poses a risk to those companies. Otherwise, I'm going to go back to that monetary tightening. Interest rates have doubled in the last uh, two years. The global PMI for manufacturing has declined in eight of the nine months so far this year, just over 52 right now. That's been highly correlated to growth here and to the stock market here. And so I would really focus on that. And with the Fed between raising rates, they're going to do it again in December, it looks like. You've got quantitative tightening now at the rate of $600 billion annually while they're shrinking their balance sheet. The lag time between the raising rates and hitting the economy is 18 months to two years. A lot of tightening in the pipeline, 60% increase in the price of oil and since June of 17. That hits with a lag of about a year, so that's now starting to hit. The rise in the dollar up about 7% since April and, tr and trending higher. That's a headwind for growth. So I do think that you know, we're moving into a slower growth period. I think the Fed has, has the risk here of over-tightening. They're telegraphing, in addition to the December hike, two hikes next year. So you know, what happened to three steps and a stumble? So far, we're eight, eight steps, eight tightenings. And you don't even see that when you look at the S&P 500. But you do see it when you look at some of the sub-indices. But if you look at the auto group, the home building group, the interest rate sensitive groups are experiencing real pressure, real pressure right. in the stock market and in the real economy.